guys, we're back and we're battling the clumsy robot. Oh, he had a baloney sandwich. Oh, he maxed his all of his HP. Stupid clumsy robot. Get him. That was quick thinking. Oh, robot stopped the way, but what did I miss? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. But they helped me. Hey, this is the Runaway 5. Yeah. We don't have any money. We are strong, however. We would like to pay you back. We'll help you in whatever way we can. I thought that I heard a girl's voice. Let's break into the room next door. Except I need to go to the bathroom first. The room next door seems suspicious somehow. Okay. Stop! That's enough, please. I give up. I really do. Oh, he's about to wet himself. Lan, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Montoli isn't really a bad person. Take some time to listen to him. Look at my skinny arms, thin body, and gray hair. I've become so weak since I lost the many, many statue. I'm sorry I kidnapped Kelly. I haven't done anything to her. Kelly is a nice girl. Kelly, return to Lan. I'm sorry I've created so much trouble for you. Money statue created an illusion. It attracts evil spirits and weakens your heart. The power uh, was sacred. The power scared me so much. I hid the statue in the warehouse at Jackie's Cafe. How much I, I often went there to what to pray at the cafe. Cryptic words appeared to me while I was in the illusion. The cryptic messages stop land and do so by your own hand. Or don't let them go to summers. Or make sure they know nothing of the pyramid. I don't fully understand the messages, but someone obviously doesn't want you to go to summers. Evil Gigas or something. I could hear the name. Anyway. The evil side would be in trouble if you visit Summers. Oh, on the contrary, you should definitely go to Summers. Especially because they don't want you to make it there. Would you like to hear the whole story again? Oh, I get you. Summers is located across the ocean. Take my helicopter. I'll open the door to my heliport. Dizzy, but now I'm okay. To get to Summers, we need to go back to Dweed. Yeah, 
somehow I know that's where we must go. So, two, three. Wow, you guys did a lot while I was in the bathroom. <laughs> you want to get to three as soon as possible? We can take you to three in our tour bus. I'll get the bus and wait for you just outside the building. Thanks, guys. Big help, but... I could just, um, could teleport there. I've been to three. Wow, this place is so confusing. Oh, wait, what about my gourmet machine? Yellow chick. The trout flavored yogurt, sir. Counting up the trout. I have to put this food. Oh, oh, what the heck? Okay, fine. This is just gonna give us trout flavored yogurt and, you know, keep our machine. flavored goodness. Hello? How are you? This is Apple Kid. I think I'm a real genius, in fact. I know I'm a genius. Why? Well, I have discovered the primary enemy of you and all humanity. Cholesterol? No. We have to fight and defeat this being. To do so, we need to invent a machine called the Phase Distorter. I've got to find a wandering scientist, Dr. N. Donuts, and make the distorter, so I may be gone for a while. Later. Okay. Oh, my. Good luck with finding and donuts. Sure, she. I should have put um Barry on the phone. An autograph, really? Eh, no. I don't mean your autograph, silly. What? Okay, you're a weird lady. <laughs> Stand behind me, stare at my hips. Whatever, whatever, okay, lady? You're, you're weird. Alright, leave me alone. Hey, guys. Okay. Yeah, we can get that. Yeah, yep, alright. Alright, on to three. Enjoy the ride. Sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine a runaway five singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some very important item or gadget here. How's that for a guess? Am I close? Well, you don't have to tell me. See you later. And good luck. I don't know, our crazy... My crazy girlfriend, she like... Vision, visions, and like future, and you know, we're just forced to follow her wherever she wants us to go, and sometimes, you know, it's a little crazy, I know, I know, I know, I don't want to hear all that, bye, see you guys, alright, so, I do know why we came here, though, Actually, it's in the house. 
Oh. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's in the house. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Move, move, move. Hey, it's brand new! You painted over all the damage parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little thing. This is what we're calling. We're, we're here to get. How do you check it? Okay. Can you fix it, Barry? Ah, here's the problem. And it's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. There. That should do it. Now, if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. With Dr. and Donut's help, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad, I mean, uh, Dr. and Donuts is not available, I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab in Winters. That's it. Go, machine, go! girlfriend. The one that freaking ran off on me. Keep it, cold kid girl. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Oh, congrats. Cookie, kick, kick, kick. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. Kirkos Kiaka, so. Kekru Kiaki, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? Can't stop thinking. Can't seem to stop thinking about it. Kiki, kiki, go and see what's there. Kyo, 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 kiri. We're going to get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. Bye. Bye, newlyweds. Why is there a freaking caveman here? Doctor and Donuts. Oh, you surprised me. You're lying, aren't you? Barry wets his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. What? Take care of yourself and Barry. The bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about this for a long time. The locals call the area Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, uh, I understand. While you're checking out that place, I'll work on the matter of the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes, my co-worker, Bigfoot, dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He's often shares his beef jerky with me. Booga booga, may I help you? Waka, gawa. What would you like? Oh, he has more than me, Sherry. I can tell you that. 